Welcome back. I'll show you the three simple step process that I take to manage all of our campaigns, whether we run out of leads, what to do then and how to upload and how I kill the non-performing copies so you can generate the best results in a short time frame. So we can do this all within 24 hours from sourcing leads, cleaning them and getting them uploaded into your sequencer of choice. I'm going to show you what you can do to keep a campaign alive and how you can kill the non-performing ones. So let's go. So there's three steps to this. Like I said, number one is scraping. There's two ways you can go about it. Number one is, for example, you go to Apollo or something like Crunchbase. You look up your niche. For example, let's say this is Actac. I'll come here and I search first. As you can see, there's 6,000 companies. And what I can do with this is obviously, I'm just in the free plan just so I can showcase this to you. But I could take this company and then I can enrich it either through Crunchbase or I could just plug it into Apollo. Most people use Apollo as a generic like enriching software. So I could just come here theoretically and just delete these two filters because we don't need them right now. But what I can do is I can come here and include this list of company. I already have this domain, so I could just come take it. Obviously, this is just for the sake of demonstration. You need to do a lot more and get a lot more if you want to have a lot more leads. But even from this one company, I got 165 leads who are owner, founder, VP, head, director, etc. Like C-suite level plus managers. This is quite good. This is quite decent. This is number one. You could do this. Or what most people don't do, and I think this is just a better method overall, the local database, which a lot of people don't know how to use because it's a little bit more resource intensive, but I'm going to show you live research. I'll help you one on one. We're not going to do any cuts here. So basically what you want to do, for example, let's say my niche is act like I already have something pulled up here, but that's a little bit of cheating, right? So how I usually go about researching this is very simple. Like, for example, again, niche is act tech. I'm just going to look up act tech company direct stories right and let's just put this in google duck, duck, go. doesn't really matter as you can see this is the, the number one result that came up the one i just previously showed you i'll show you many many different examples but what you can do here is since we have you know a lot of companies as you can see 886 obviously you don't want to click like one-on-one -on, -one on each of them but we have the domains here so what you can do is simply install a tool called easy scraper you can find this chrome extension just by typing it in google and what it's going to do is if we go back here, let me just open this again, say change list. I want this list and then let's start scraping. But before that, click button to load next page. And I want to click this button. Let's see, verify. OK, perfect. So let's start scraping. What it's going to do, it's going to scrape through all of those 73 pages. It's going to take between one, three seconds delay. And it's going to load up the next page so it's going to take a little bit of time there might be some anti-scraping methods or protections here so let me just see if we refresh the page because it doesn't work on all websites obviously let me see if i can do it again so this is why i think it's just important you know not to have cuts and just do this live because you know some people just show you you know the good stuff i want to show you what actually works and you know in this case let's see if this doesn't work what you can do in this case okay i click on click button to load next page it's scraping and it went to the next page which is interesting let's just okay it, it should be on the the right one there's three different variations because sometimes you can just actually scroll down sometimes you can click the button to load next page let's let's check this one maybe this one works should be should be the same but let's see okay so yeah this is working better okay so as you can see we're on page four that's page five and it's getting all this data a little bit bug fixing but you just need to mess around with the the load more items and it is scraping very very nicely all these directories here and you might be asking like hey but what can i do with this right like what can i realistically do with this that's a good question because you don't actually get the domains from here and i'll show you the next step which is very simple because all these subdomain and under that there is the company somewhere hidden but if i were to place this into apollo here it would just bring me this company's employees which we don't want now this is enough data for us let's just download as a csv so what you need to do now is just click scrape details here and put the csv here very very simply and then it's going to bring you onto this page and you want to click a new scraper and then you want to find the website or the domain here and click finish. And that's pretty much it. You need to start scraping. And I would just put this just for the sake of example between two to three seconds for each page. What it's going to do is going to load up each page one by one. It's going to look for this very specific information that we pinpointed into. If it doesn't have the website, 
then it's not going to get that, unfortunately. But, you know, if it does, then it's going to get it. We're already getting a ton of websites just from this. Some of them don't have websites, which is unfortunate. But, you know, this is how you can actually find lists, which nobody hits because these are local niche directories. Nobody really pays attention to. So let me just stop it right here. This page doesn't have a website. For this example, I'm not going to show you, but you know, you could just take the company domain, put it into Appify scrapers, and then just find the first SEO page. Based on that, you can find the link for the company, but this is a little bit more advanced. Just want to keep this very simple here. Then what we can do is just download this sample here and then very simply just download this column here and then plug it into Apollo, right? And let's see, we should get a little bit of lead. 49, obviously, yeah, these are not big companies, but you know, if you add up hundreds and hundreds of domains, this should be quite a decent size list. Now, since I pinpointed just one specific list, you might be asking like, hey, this is biased, I already found it. You can look for any directories. Let me just check the second link here. Yeah, same story here. If I click here, full page, most likely it's going to bring me yeah as you can see same story i can just find the company page so what i can do there's only 100 domains here which is good still i could download this and i could put the same here just like we did before and then let's do new scraper and then i'm going to select again the website and let me put it continue and then two to three seconds just so it's a little bit faster it finds domains very very simple this is really all you need to do if one doesn't work for you just simply find another directory and you could look for like any directory marketing agency directories whatever you want whatever you need they're all out there you can look for them you can find them some of them are small some of them are bigger so you can just do your research on this right so so many directories you can find especially this is like a big niche like marketing agencies you can just go to pretty much like let's say like clutch.co if i just want to look for like staffing companies i just load up this url and as you can see there's 9800 something companies on clutch.co which are marketing staffing companies these are the leaders if i click on all companies yeah that's just crazy you can scrape all those now if you get this you need to plug it into apollo but if you don't want to pay the ridiculous fee that apollo charges you can come to this website this is pretty much the same happy fire scraper that most of you guys are already using pricing is a little bit better because they skip the fees for happy five so you know they don't have to pay it now one more thing they actually gave us 20 percent code 20 percent off there's no affiliates nothing like this we just give all the discounts to the community this is something we use personally as well so if you want the code just join the free community and you're gonna find it right there what this allows you to do is number one you're gonna save money because you don't use the appify scraper and number two you get an extra 20 percent off and that's just basically like one tenth the cost of you know you actually using apollo so it's quite a good deal if you want to use it just feel free to join now getting on with the video once you got the leads you need to clean them and this is a different story as well you can just use million verifier like everybody else is doing or you can use our email cleaning software which we are releasing in the coming week or two if you want to sign up for it click on our newsletter so you can just come to our website click on the freebies and sign up with your email here and we'll notify you ahead of time because we're going to have grandfather pricing so the sooner you get into this software the cheaper it's going to be essentially right it's going to be basically like 100 bucks a month for unlimited lead cleaning all inclusive so if you want to skip paying for million verifier and all of these softwares monthly which limit you to some ridiculously so amount of leads cleaned then you can use our tool we've been using this internally for quite a while finally third once you got the clean list all you need to do is just go to your beloved sequencer you can use plus five for this this is what we use if you want 40 percent off for this one as well the codes again in the free community so you can just join and use them and save yourself 40% on any plan, basically. So what you need, you can do two things, right? If you have a winning campaign, you can add more leads to this. You can just come here, click on leads, and then basically just upload the leads you want to add on top of this. Or you could just create a new campaign and duplicate the one that was performing well with the previous copy. But you might just be targeting a different segment, right? Or a different market, Asia, Europe us right and then what we do before that before we duplicate this is we always just click on analytics and by the way most sequencers should have this if yours doesn't 
maybe it's worth considering you switching to a different one which actually has more data but if you just click on any of these campaigns it's going to load up a steps and variations all right well people just froze for us mid recording but you can just i'll pull up a screenshot somewhere here once we got this fixed but basically you can just toggle on and off the variations that are not performing versus the ones that are and you want to do that before I actually duplicate the campaign so you are only getting the winning ones but you can basically come to import leads if you just want to add more leads to the previously winning campaign and it's just super simple follow this three-step process and you can refill your campaigns with fresh leads that are higher quality than what, what most people are getting you're not going to hit the same email list that everybody else is doing if you use this method this one is fine as well and this is how you can do it reliably this is what we do we have with each and every single one of our campaigns if you got any questions you can just message me on discord or instagram and yep i'll see you in the next one